Untherian. A world forever split in unending combat. Vampires. The first beings to exist and the dominant race on the planet. A civil war that nearly destroyed us. The world was never the same again. In the wake of our ongoing self-destruction, others gained more strength, power, and influence. The time for our vengeance is now. We have to rebuild and claim what's rightfully ours. Yeah! Go! G'day, guys. We are playing a game that's coming out in a day. A few nights more, Genesis. This is a sequel, I believe, to a uh, older game that came out a few years ago. Basically, we're going to be playing a vampire and we're going to conquer the world. I am excited. Uh, new game. Uh, I guess we pick our character. Oh, he's cool. Uh, wish list to unlock, wish list to unlock. This is a uh, beta test. Uh, I'm not too sure if we're going to make a full playthrough. Oh my god, he looks amazing. Not too sure if we're going to make a full playthrough of this, but we will see. All right. Uh, the Basarab. Name is known to only two beings in existence. One is the uh, venerable and ancient uh, Progenet. <laughs> I am going to mess up this these words so bad. Uh, progenitor, and the others, and the other is his opposite. In what way we don't know. But taking it at face value in every possible way, this means appearance, powers, outlook. Attitude. There's simply not enough information to form a coherent profile. Clan Basarab starts with three random traps and one random great minion. Uh, Transpose teleports during invasion phase instead of walking. Each teleport costs one move speed. Overwhelming edge. If Vampire Lord engages the battle first, the Vampire Lord starts with the combat. Starts the combat with a five power. Vanity in everything. If hunters engage the battle first, the vampire lord starts combat with three vulnerable. Uh, Omnipresence starts with one move speed. Terrifying visage starts with minus six seduction points. Oh, can't have that. Can't have that. Uh, what is this one? Barras. Baraz and Sinar were the most trusted and powerful royal guardians. They served as the personal guard and usually guarded the uh, progenitor wherever he went. The absolute apex of physical defense and the best armor they themselves crafted and personalized protects them from the biggest threats they could encounter. One of the most ancient vampires still alive. Their combat experience and expertise are only rivaled by the generals and the most elite combatants of vampire society. <sighs> Clan uh, Duridian, Duridian. Duradian starts with five constitution, everlast of plus five constitution, everlasting protection armor is uh, preserved between turns. Fleeting fury minions die after one fight, but they deal four times more damage. That's pretty good. Enduring legacy, every constitution bonus gain is doubled. Blood mortality cannot be healed from any source. All stamina gains are halved. Grace of the Unliving, dodge chance is capped at 20%. Look at these guys. They're all very cool. But I want to play this guy. Full version required. What? Oh no. What does that mean I, I only get to play these ones? Oh, what the? No! 
Belka does not prefer to fight in the front lines, instead using her magic to buff and help her minions win fights for her. When it comes to encounters she cannot avoid, however, she has her inherited Shape of Fate ability to deflect any incoming spells. Clan pa Palin. Pa Palin? So that's with one intellect and 5% dodge chance. Uh, Noble buys rooms, items, minions, and traps with 15% discount. Um, Collector has a 20% chance to find rare and 5% chance to find epic decors. Mr. Sword starts with minus three terror points. Shape of fate. Look into the mirror to shape your fate. Gain random amount of power and magical. All right. All right. I mean, we got one choice. Let's go with it, I suppose. Um, school, uh, blood, necromancy, or ferocity. Well, I'm definitely going to go necromancy. Comes with blood pool, Lord gains 0.1% crit hitch chance for every blood left at the end of every turn. Adds 5 blood for every uh, leftover AP at the end of turn. Blood Lance sends forth a blood lance which deals magical and physical piercing damage and gives blood for every enemy hit. Okay. Act 1. Night one. Your goal is to survive all the nights and defeat the last boss. You will lose if your HP or your coffin HP. I'm gonna turn down the sound a bit. It's a bit. That's a bit loud. Uh, you will lose if your HP or coffin reach. So during the preparation screen, you can manage your castle and just lost skills. When you're ready, go ahead and click one more night to begin the invasion. Okay. I would like to turn down the sound because it's just super loud in my ears. That'll do. All right, what are we doing? What do these do? What's going on? What's happening? What's this? Okay, these are rooms. This is me. Can I move myself? No. Minions. I don't have any more minions. I don't have any rooms, traps. Fame. All right, fame, sorry. Fame screen shows here the vampire likes to brag about their fame displayed in the categories. You can select add any available points. You can claim the three benefits whenever you reach certain milestones. Okay. Uh, oh, seduction. Oh, I guess we'll put a point into that one. Oh, we, can't, we got no points to spend. Um, oh. What's this? Merge tutorial. You can merge your minions on the screen. Okay. No, I don't really want to merge. What's this? No. What are these? Plunder rooms. Do I just start? I, I guess I just start. Doesn't seem to be much I can do. Alright, let's go. Okay, with the skill setup, do you want to continue? No. Skill setup? Uh, I mean, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Let's just go. Base tutorial. You can move your lord by right clicking on any room. Note that, that you can move your lord freely during preparation phase, but once the invasion starts, you can only move by using your movement. Yep, understood. Okay. Uh, let's move him there and attack. Attack! Here are your action points. Many skills require AP to cast. If a skill requires AP, it will be indicated on the skill tooltip under the skill in the action bar here. Skills and games has, can have an AP cost and might have blood cost, cooldowns and, and recasts. AP cost, cooldown and recast. Uh, most skills that have no cooldown usually come with a recast limit. Okay. Physical armor. Amount of physical armor, damage you can mitigate. All pretty straightforward. Uh, Buff effects, uh, debuff effects, okay. I am going to use my Blood Lance on the Zealot Farmer. Oh, that's cool, get wrecked. Uh, now what? Well, that was my blood points, right? Oh. Okay, so I use Gargoyle Skin. Uh, okay, in turn. Will they just heal themselves? What the hell? 
Can find magic armor and power between. Okay, sure. Okay. Maybe this sounds like too loud, <laughs> too soft now. <laughs> this is beta. This is a beta test. So there obviously will be bugs. So or, or any of this can change. Uh, let's attack this guy. Nice. Can I do it again? Oh, I can. How much blood do I have left? Wait, it's one action point. Oh, I could do it three times. Okay, these are the action points, and that's my blood pool. Oh, I see. I see. And turn. Come at me, bro. Is that all you got? Your pitchforks? I'm gonna destroy you. Oh no, your buddy dead. Oh no, oh no, you did. Uh, and we'll use our gargoyle armor. And and turn. Okay, tack, tack, and armor. And turn. Okay, tack, tack. We'll use this again. We can use that again. And we'll use our armor. You are going to die. <laughs> 100 gold, one skill point, one room point. Cool. All right, get absolutely destroyed. Uh, let's see. Look, character screen can be found here. You can change the skills, uh, trinkets, and view your perks and abilities. You can access by pressing C button or by clicking your Lord's portrait. Okay. I have one skill point, apparently. Mm. Oh, can I just change that? What is a? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. All right, all right. All right. So we got two lots of people attacking next. So what we'll do? What does this button do? Choose your skill. Inquisitor's sword deal fights physical damage to the target and add a debuff that strengthens the sword damage That's cool chosen Gain okay, one strength or intellect until the end of the encounter and gives you blood lance plus two recast. Oh, that's cool Take an enemy for fast physical damage with an extra five damage for each 20 blood accumulated this combat. Oh, that's a lot I might go this one Okay, what's this do? At construction, okay. Gain two prestige every two nights. Oh, now we're getting into the the core of the gameplay. Gather information, grant five experience at the end of each night. I think experience would be great, actually. Let's add that. Base tutorial, this is type construction. You can use room and dragging. After you've made a room, you can decorate it with door, traps, and minions. Cool. Okay, so room, let's put that there. And now, how do I uh, put traps down? Minions, I don't have any minions right now. All right, so uh, we will get more experience now, as far as I'm aware, and we got a new skill point, so all right, let's continue. Come at me, bros. Come at me. Invasion begins. All right, where am I? Uh, all right, let's see, they're coming that way. So let's go this way. And then can we just like head them off straight away? We can. All right, attack. All right, buddy, uh, we are going to go with Gargoyle Skin first of all. We'll pop our little thingy bobby what's in me callies to gain armor and uh, additional power. Then we're just gonna go straight for the blacksmith. Bang, bang, bang. Get blood lanced. She's so proper. All right, uh, hit him again. 20 blood. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save this. 
Let's see if I can one shot that guy. That'd be awesome. One more time. Oh, uh, your next villager. All right. Eat. Wait, wait. Let me do this first. Now eat my wrath. Oh, big damage. Oh, that's good. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. That next next combat. You got a strength buff and cleric. Oh, we're gonna go for this cleric. Oh wait, let's pop this first. Let's pop this second, and then we'll go for the cleric first. Because cleric tells me they have buffs and healing, and garlic apparently. <laughs> No! Alright. Uh, mm -mm. Let's just keep attacking the cleric. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get when you mess with the warrior. Going in for a... Uh, let's go in for one blood lance. Like two blood lances. And then finish him off with a blow. Boom! Get wrecked! Alright, we got one skill point, one perk point, one trinket point, one action point. Cool, we're getting all the good stuff. I love the art. This is like a... This is basically like a board game, and I'm all for that. Like, it reminds me so much of just playing board games with the friends. Just start on a, on a tabletop, you know? Alright. That might be the vibe that they were going for. In which case, they have definitely succeeded. Um, intellect and life steal. Yes, please. All right, we get another skill. Twin strike. Deal four damage and four magical damage, uh, four physical and magical. If the last skill used was an attack, this skill has a 100% chance to critically strike. Oh wow, cool. So I can just use it like Lance and then um, then follow up by using this and I'll just do maximum damage. That's pretty good. If there's only one enemy hunter on the field, deal 40 magic damage. Holy hell, that's a finisher. Okay, um, applies one vulnerable to a target and Vampire Lord gains 25 blood. Oh, that's so much. I kind of want the finisher because like, what if there's a boss fight later? We just, we just get like the big, big damage, you know? Let's do that. We'll get the finisher. All right, now, what's this one? Choose your trinket. Life binder necklace. General, passive raise. Max HP of the Lord by 10. Uh, so more HP. Uh, unused makes next single target attack into piercing attack. Okay, that's cool. Um, Lord gains 15% critical hit chance next turn. I think we'll go just go the flat, flat health boost, honestly. All right, what do we got over here? How many of these the service to the Lord? Oh. Is this where I buy... Uh, minions? Oh, I can buy rooms. Uh, it's a shop. What's this? Gorgon. Uh, minions respawn after every invasion. I can get... I can get a few of these guys. I can buy a few of these guys. Okay. Uh, we don't have enough for a trap, so we're good. We're good now. Which in the castle. So I should be able to place some minions now. Minions, minions, no. Minions. Uh, here we go. Uh, let's put him there. Let's put him there. Let's put him there. Cool. Okay. We should move her there, just so she doesn't get attacked like straight away, right? So that's a entrance. So when the entrance, when they come through that entrance, they get attacked. So that's an entrance there, and an entrance down here. Okay, so there's three entrances to the castle. Can I build another room? I'll have to save up my gold. Okay, let's continue to the next night. Yes. So this is a roguelike, apparently. Um, so, 
Uh, I don't know how that works when we lose. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, Alright, let's attack. Does that mean our minions died? Oh, yeah, they did. They took damage. Cool. Wait, do I not heal? Huh. Hey, Gargoyle skin. Shield. Uh, and attack. And attack. And attack. Oh, he's still alive. I can do a blow, though. But it's a three turn cooldown. Nah, we'll wait. Oh, that hurt. Village Witch heal. Wait, that's a healer? Oh man, I should take her down. All right, uh, well, let's finish this guy off. Uh, let's pop, wait, do I have um, my gargoyle? No, I don't. Pop the gargoyle. Shield. Uh, hit her, and then hopefully this finishes her. It doesn't. Ah, oh, it's rough. Uh, damage. Five blood. I do get five blood for doing that. Oh, so I could just keep increasing my armor. I should try to do that every turn, maybe. Ah, uh, you do no damage to me because I'm tanky. Die, you witch. Double, double my uh, tankness. Oh, okay. Come on, get out of here, healer. No one likes you. Okay, we're gonna pop that. That costs two and it does 40 damage. Boom. Oh, that finisher was so worth. I'm so glad we got that. Okay, we're gonna pop our mirror. Uh, we're gonna pop our shields. And then we're going to go straight for the uh, village witch. Die, witch, die. Oh, one HP. Oh, no. We need like a bleeding effect on her. Boom. All right, and we get to finish this guy off because we have a finisher. Oh, God, that finisher is so good. That finisher is so good. Uh, 100 gold, one skill point, one perk point, one room point, six fame. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Previous occupants of the castle forgot to lift some of the magical seals surrounding a very peculiar uh, mausoleum in the gardens. My lord, I believe there is something buried there. We should send it an expedition to look for any dangers and treasures. Ransack the whole whole place getting 600 gold leave the place Actually, why would I not ransack it um set expedition no I'm gonna I'm, I need the gold yeah, yeah yeah let's go gold um rooms don't I have a room point I do have a room point what's this one gain four lists of minions instantly well, that's really cool slaughter oh, wait, that's the slaughter room grand hall gain Two prestige, one less a minion at the end of every night cannot be plundered. Uh, Vent below gains 10% dodge chance as a start of combat. Oh, that's really powerful. But we get two prestige and one random minion at the end of every night. Let's grab, let's grab that and let's put it there. Can I put it there? No, it's really big. Where do we put it? Hello? Oh, there. Okay. Cool. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. What is that? Gain one infold, but infold W damage this turn. Oh, wow. I like how you can hover over them and it gives you like an information. That's really helpful. Gain plus one endfold, but apply three wound to Vampire Lord. Applies one wound instead of three. No. Uh, gain five magical armor after using uh, Perikits. Peri I can't. I cannot pronounce that. After using Barrier, your next Gargoyle skin gives three more physical armor. God, that's all right, isn't it? 
Uh, devastation. Deal 30 magical, physical, and morale damage to a target hunter. That's crazy. It's crazy. It costs 80 blood, though. Wait, that's empowered version. Huh. I like this one because it's super defensive. That's a skill book. Alright. Um... One finesse and 2% critical, one AP, one strength and one stamina, or 15% critical. I think of one AP, honestly. Then I can um, do more defensive maneuvers, right? Uh, minions, do I have any more minions? Let's chuck him in there, him in there. Coolio. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, that's right, we got 700 gold. Can we go to the shop? Is there a shop? How did we get to the shop? Is that someone, is that something that we only get every now and then? When did we get to the shop? Oh, points left. Um, Terra. Let's just fix that up. Claim. At three points gain one random trap and one lesser minion at the end of every night. Traps, aim, already did that. Rooms, decor. So where's the shop? Is that something I access um, later? I'm, I'm guessing that's a something I access later. Okay, well, let's just, uh, let's keep going in. Yes. Invasion begins. Oh, he's a boss, dude. All right, let's go. Uh, oh, wow, he has 80 health. Okay. Um, let's pop this. Let's pop this. Uh, that requires 20 blood. Let's go ahead and take out the Beast Hunter first. Uh, let's pop another skin. Let's just keep attacking the Beast Hunter. Mm. Well, this one's a free cast, so I can just attack the Beast Hunter and then do this again. Boom. Okay, good damage. Good damage. Uh, and we have some decent armor. Oh, ouchie. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, pop that again. Did I pop this? Yeah, I did. Let's keep attacking the uh, beast, dude. That again. Pop. Can you find magical armor using next skin gives? Off armor. Let's use this. I can't use that this time around. And attack. Okay. Oh, we're gonna die. We are going to die. Okay, so I can use that now, so it does carry on. So we get six armor straight off the bat. Um... Oh, I got Pierce? When did I get Pierce? <laughs> when did this happen? <laughs> uh, oh, well, let's just keep attacking. Um... Let's pop this, and then pop this, and then pop this, and then pop this, and then pop this. <laughs> we're popping them all. Oh, we're gonna die though, I think. Hang in there. Hang in there, my vampire queen. Uh, let's pop this armor. Okay. In turn. Yeah, we're definitely gonna die. So I guess this is where the roguelike elements come into play. Okay, we'll pop this. We'll pop this. Oh, we really... Okay, we got nine armor. Surely we can survive, right? Ah, we survived! Get rugged. 
Get wrecked. Okay, he's dead. And then we can finish this guy off. Oh my god, this is awesome. We just owned him. <laughs> right, uh, let's uh, run back this way. <laughs> because he's coming through. If he can come through here. Uh, how do I close this? Okay, yeah, in turn. What is this and why can't I close it? Hello, close. Oh, it's a little cross at the top. I'm blind as a bat. All right. Where's old mate? Okay, old mate's going to come through this way. Oh, is he going to come through this way? I should go here. They're that forced him to come through here and take some damage from the minions. Cool. Okay, start combat. Wait, he was the boss? I thought the other guy was the boss. Oh, no. Oh no. We are so dead. Oh, we are so dead. Oh, he attacks three times. Okay, uh, total time 30 minutes. Oh wow, this video has gone to 30 minutes, okay. Um, heritage points gain 12 points from surviving a new night. Okay. So what do I use those points on? Heritage to total. You've unlocked a heritage screen. On this screen, you can check the levels and talent of each clan and you can spend the heritage points you earned and get your vampire lords stronger. Cool. Okay. So this is where the rogue roguelite uh, elements come in. I, a lot of you know um, I do play a lot of roguelites on on stream, um, and uh, I've I made a few videos. I love I love roguelites. I like the the progression, I suppose. Okay, if I blade at the start of the turn, that's pretty good. How many points do we have? We have twelve. And what are these? Oh, this is the clans that we're leveling up. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, Bloodlands, yes. Uh, gives five more blood, yes, one hundred percent, yes. Well, wow, it's really, it's really bright. Sure, you want to spend? I do. Is this bugged? Oh, cool. Okay, so that was the beta. The new, the brand new game is coming out uh, in twenty four hours, I believe. Uh, hopefully there'll be a lot more updates, but I actually really enjoyed this. I can see myself playing this a lot more um, and possibly making a series out of this. I, I actually did enjoy that. It reminds me a lot of board games um, like Talisman, Mansions of Madness, things like that. Like I'm I'm a big I'm a big fan of that style of game. So very happy I got to play this today. Um, and hopefully we'll be, well, we, we, we'll, we'll see how we go. We might play this in the future. We might not. We, we, we will see how we go. We'll play it by ear. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And look after yourself. Bye-bye.